all and I hope you're doing well. Today's video is going to be my top three juniper perfumes I have in my collection. So um, these are my undoubtedly different perfumes with the same notes that just really stand out to me and I am a juniper um, fanatic. I absolutely love the note. I love the freshness. I love the berry. It just smells great. So first perfume is Enfion by Diptyque. This one is a powdery, floral, fresh, slightly sweet perfume that really does stand out. This is quite feminine leaning in terms of juniper um, fragrances. It's just got a very soft, uh, powdery, clean scent to it. It's uh, gorgeous for all year round. And it's one that I would generally recommend to a lot of girly girls that want to feel feminine, that want to wear something that is the best of all worlds. It's got a bit of everything and it's great. This one I have babbled on way, way, way too much about. And if you've been on my channel long enough, you would already know that Inisho's Paragon is one of my hands-down favorite perfumes there are. I'm about to actually finish this bottle and I already have my other bottle on standby because this is definitely one that I still do truly love. Um, but yes, Paragon is such a wonderful and phenomenal fragrance for me. It's got all the meditative notes to it. And so I do love a meditative perfume. It's got the sage, it's got lavender, it's got Palo Santo. So it's genuine, like it was made for relaxation and meditative purposes. It really does help calm me down. It really does help put me in a great place. And it's got the juniper berry to give it that freshness. It's just a wonderful and phenomenal fragrance for me. I have so many <laughs> videos on this one. I really do think it's worth checking this perfume out. First time I actually did wear this one, I wasn't the biggest fan. I liked it, but did I love it? Not really. But then I'm that type of person that has to smell it externally to really get to enjoy it more. Um, but there was this time where I sprayed it and I went to a Pilates class and then I, I just smelled my jumper and I was like, what is that smell? It smells amazing. And it was this. And since then, I just learned to give it about an hour or so, just so I can smell the dry down and the dry down in this one is fab. Some people don't really give this one the opportunity just because of the initial spray, but the dry down is where the magic happens for this one. And last but not least, you might think I am crazy for even purchasing this one, but this is the Ex Nihilo Cologne 352 perfume. This just reminds me of pure, clean luxury. Now, this perfume and an issue are quite unisex. For an issue, I forgot to mention that it is quite unisex, but this one as well is very unisex. This is a very zesty juniper fragrance. It just smells so clean. This one is an easy grab and go. Does it last a very, very long time? Hmm. Not too much, but it does definitely last. I do tend to overspray all my perfumes, so <laughs> for me, I'm more than happy to reapply this one after every few hours. It is a very expensive perfume, and I had to wait for this one to be on sale uh, through Liberty, because here in the UK, to get this type of perfume, Ex Nihilo, in general as a brand is just crazy expensive and it's not worth it for me personally at the price that they put it at. So I would rather buy it for a discounted price and it would make much more sense to me. So again with this one, this is like the freshest of the bunch of the three perfumes I mentioned because this has the citrus notes. It's very clean. It's very out there, um, very unisex. And so I would definitely recommend this when you check it out. Check out the notes, see if you like them, give it a sniff, because sometimes this can come off as a little bit harsh to some people, but when you spray it and just leave it on for me, uh, again, the magic is in the dry down for me, but I still even love the initial sprays of this one. So there you have it, my top three juniper uh, berry perfumes that I absolutely love and adore. These are my top three go-to ones. And yes, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care to then. Bye-bye.